Hello friends, in this video we will talk about pigeonhole principle with examples. Welcome back friends, let's discuss pigeonhole principle, a very simple principle yet very important. So let's read the definition first. If n pigeons are assigned to m pigeon holes such that m is less than n, then at least one pigeon hole must have two pigeons. So this is the uh, definition of pigeon hole principle where the condition is m must be less than n. Now I will explain you with the help of an example, very simple uh, principle. I am considering three scenarios here. Suppose these are my pigeon holes. I am considering three pigeon holes and suppose there are four pigeons. Now please tell me how these four pigeons can be assigned to these three pigeon holes. See, first possibility. First pigeon assigned to this pigeon hole, second pigeon, third pigeon. Now four pigeon, which pigeon hole will contain the four pigeon? Suppose the four pigeon is assigned to this particular pigeon hole. What is the next possibility? One, two here, three, four here and the last pigeon hole is empty. What is the next probability? One, two, three, four, all are here, they may need two hours empty. So there are a number of possibilities. My point is if, see, how many pigeons are there? Four. And how many pigeon holes are there? Three. So pigeon holes are less, pigeons are more. So the definition says at least one pigeon hole have two pigeons. So check any condition. See, at least one pigeon hole must contains two pigeons. At least one. See, it's not containing any pigeon. This is also containing two. But the criteria is at least one pigeon hole. So at least one pigeon hole must contain two pigeons. At least one pigeon hole contains uh, two pigeons. These are empty, doesn't matter. So is this point clear? Is this definition clear? So what is the definition? If there are n pigeons, m pigeon holes. Condition is pigeon holes are less than pigeons. Then there is at least one pigeon hole which contains two pigeons. So this is the definition of pigeon hole principle and when it is used if there is a very small difference between pigeon hole and pigeons. Likewise I have given you the example here the pigeon holes are uh, three and pigeons are four. So there is a difference of one. So very small difference one two difference. If there is a very small difference between the pigeons and the pigeon hole principle then we go ahead with the uh, pigeon hole principle and if there is the difference is more then we go with extended pigeon hole principle again the concept is same if n pigeons are assigned to m pigeon holes and obviously m is less than n so m is actually very less than n that means here suppose there are three pigeons and let's say 100 uh, suppose there are three pigeon holes and let's say 100 pigeons so the difference is more are you getting my point three pigeon holes four pigeons you can simply apply uh, pigeon or principle but if the difference is more three pigeon holes hundred pigeon so see the difference if difference is more then in that case we're going to apply extended pigeon hole principle which says at least one of the pigeon hole contains this many pigeons where n is your number of pigeons m is number of uh, pigeon holes plus one pigeons and this is what your floor function this is what we discussed in set theory also in principle of inclusion exclusion so what do you mean by floor function floor function means if you get 42.9 still it will take 42 so it is going to consider the lowest integer so 42.9 means 42 42.1 also means 42 see 42.9 is lying between 42 and 43 it's going to take the lowest integer that is 42 Again, 42.1 is lying between 42 and 43. So lowest integer it is going to pick. So this is what pigeonhole and extended pigeonhole principle. So in this video, we'll talk about pigeonhole principle examples. In the next video, we'll talk about extended pigeonhole principle examples. So the first problem, 13 students of class are selected. Prove that at least two of them will have their birthday on the same month of a year. How many students selected? 13. How many months are there? 12 story over so 13 student means there are 13 pigeons and 12 months means 12 pigeon holes 
here m is less than n therefore by pigeonhole principle at least one of the students uh, at least two students will have their birthday on the same month see that's it it's done obviously if there are 13 students if all the students are born on different month at least there will be a month 13 student will born in one of the months that means at least there will be a one month in which there are two students born there is a possibility that all the students born on the same month so at, at least there is a month in which there are more than uh, two students born that's it story over see the question if 13 students are selected of a class prove that at least two of them will have their birthday on the same month of a year so 13 students mean n is equal to 13 that is pigeons are selected from a class there are 12 months that is m is equal to 12 pigeons m is less than n pigeonhole principle is applicable by pigeonhole principle at least one pigeonhole must have uh, two pigeons therefore at least two students must have their birthday on the same month of a year that's it story over it's actually very simple thing it's just a common sense nothing else next suppose 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 let me give you one more example there are seven days in a week how many students let's say there are eight students so what will be the question eight students are selected from a class prove that at least two of them will have their birthday on the same day of a week so eight student means what n is equal to eight eight pigeons and n is uh, m is equal to seven that is p, uh, seven pigeon holes m is less than n pigeon hole principle is applicable that's it story over next question now this problem is very important problem it is asked a number of times in the exam if five numbers are chosen from and see we have written the solution also so you need to write it down in this particular format if five numbers are chosen from 1 to 8 so between 1 to 8 5 numbers are chosen we need to prove that 2 of them will add up to 9 we need to prove that 2 of them will add up to 9 so you need to remember in this particular problem see 2 of them will add up to 9 so 2 numbers adding up to 9 so between 1 to 8 which 2 numbers will add up to 9 the first pair is 1 comma 8 that will add up to 9 if you add you will get 9 2 comma 7 3 comma 6 and 4 comma 5 so these are the possibilities if you add you will get the, get the sum as 9 so you need to remember this in this problem there is a uh, this trick you need to remember so that's a story over five numbers are chosen and how many sets we are getting four so five numbers that means n is equal to five pigeons four sets that means m is equal to four pigeon holes m is less than n pigeon hole principle applicable story over let me read the solution for you the number of sets can be grouped in pairs such that the sum of each pair is equal to 9. So these are the possibilities. There are 4 groups. So n is, uh, m is equal to 4 pigeonholes and 5 numbers are chosen. That means n is equal to 5 pigeons, m is less than n, pigeonhole principle is applicable. Therefore, by pigeonhole principle, at least one of the pigeonholes must contain 2 pigeons. Therefore, at least 2 numbers will add up to 9. So this is, you can say, a bit tricky problem. Um, it is a bit difficult to digest but yes you need to remember the procedure what is the next variation one of one more variation has come in the exam and here it was seven numbers and here it is from 1 to 11 so see here 1 comma 8 is 9 so it was the question was something like this seven numbers are chosen from the set 1 to 11 prove that two of them will add up to 12 because the first number is 1 and the last number is 11 so you need to make the pairs 1 comma 11 2 comma 10 3 comma 9 uh, 4 comma 8 5 comma 7 and uh, that's it so you just uh, consider the pairs so there are six pairs and seven numbers are chosen so accordingly pigeonhole principle you will get your solution next problem let t is an equilateral equilateral triangle of side one unit so it's an equilateral triangle of side one unit prove that if five points are chosen inside or on the triangle so we need to choose five points then two of them are not more than half unit apart we need to choose five points see it's very simple again see any if you observe all this problem there is a difference of one see here there were 13 students 12 months next problem there are four sets five numbers there is a difference of one here we need to choose five points so any of five points that means n is equal to five that is five pigeons 
so m will be less than 1 that is what 4 so any of we need to con uh, divide this uh, triangle into four regions how see here let me take the midpoint and let me join these midpoints why because it is written half unit now since it is a midpoint every this is length of half unit now if you choose any point so where the point will belong five points where it can be at the extreme possibilities they all are from the different region but at least there will be region in which more than more than one point or you can say simply two points so story is over five points are chosen so five points are chosen n is equal to five that is p gens and how many regions are there one two three four so five points is equal to n is equal to five is number of p gens m is equal to four number of p gen holes m is less than n pigeon hole principle is applicable according to pigeon hole principle at least one pigeon hole must contain two pigeons therefore at least one region will contain two points at least one region will contain two points if one region contains two points obviously they cannot be more than half unit apart see this is half unit this is half unit this is half unit if you choose points in this triangle obviously they can be more, not more than half unit apart so this is the way you're going to write it on the uh, solution for this next show that any seven points are chosen in a hexagon hexagon means six sides seven points are chosen so how many regions will be there six regions in all the possibilities there is a difference of one between pigeon and pigeon holes so let me first find it out its midpoint See here how many regions we have 1 2 3 4 5 6 story over 7 points n is equal to 7 pigeons m is equal to 6 pigeon holes m is less than n so therefore at least at least one region will contain two points so obviously they are not more than half unit apart that's it story over so that is what pigeon hole principle is in all the problem there is a difference of one or you can simply say if there is a small difference you can directly write it on by using pigeon hole principle if there is a um, big difference then you're going to uh, go ahead with the formula extended pigeon principle but yeah in all the problems you can apply this formula you'll always get the same result let's talk about this how many students are there 13 students of a class so n is 13 and 12 months so this is what 13 minus 1 12 12 divided by 12 so 12 divided by 12 is what 1 so floor of 1 is 1 1 plus 1 is what 2 so at least one month in which two students born so you can always apply this formula but for a small numbers we don't apply the formula for a big difference we use extended pigeon hole principle so that's it for this video in the next video we'll talk about extended pigeon hole principle thank you for watching this video